Today's words are beneficiary and infection. Hey y'all, Karen here. Here on Daily Derivative, I take two seemingly unrelated words and show you how they stem from a common root word. Now I'm no linguist, but you don't have to be a linguist to think language is neat. Hey y'all, bear with me today. I have a bit of a cold, so I sound a little stuffed up. But today's words are beneficiary and infection. Let's see how they're related. As always, starting with a definition. A beneficiary is a person who derives advantage from something. An infection is the state of being affected with a disease-causing organism. Kind of like what I'm probably dealing with. So what do these words share? They share the Latin word facere, meaning to make, do, or put. I found a few routes for beneficiary back to facere, all in a similar vein. Beneficiary is a combination of bene, Ficus, meaning doing or acting, and eri, making the word a noun denoting a person. So the beneficiary is the person for whom a good deed was performed. Ficus seems to be a weakened root of ficere, and I have heard it called the combining form, which is how we combine two words in English. Another route is to look at benefactor, the combination of bene and factum, an act or deed. Benefactum means a good deed with factum as the noun version of the verb facere. So what about infection? Infection also uses the combining form of ficus to make its eventual transition. Infection comes from infectus, meaning to pollute, which is the past participle form of inficere, meaning to stain. Inficere is the combination of in and facere, so it literally means to put in. This appears to be a specialized use of the words to refer to dyeing cloth by putting it in the dye. So let's put this into a sentence. When the old man learned of the infection, he made a will noting his nephew as his beneficiary. And that is how, through the evolution of language, beneficiary and infection share the common ancestor of facere, meaning to make or do. It's probably karma that I chose the word infection on a day that I happen to have a cold. But anyway, did you enjoy today's episode? Don't forget to subscribe to join me daily on your favorite podcast platform for interesting word ancestors.